every game delay announced in 2021, so far. This is Outrider's second delay, it was previously pushed from holiday 2020 to February 2021. Platforms, PS5, Xbox Series 10 Vertical Bar S, PS4, Xbox One, Stadia, PC, Developer, People Can Fly. Capcom's mysterious new game was initially given a 2022 release window. Platforms, PS5, Xbox Series 10 Vertical Bar S, PC, Developer, Capcom delayed from early 2021 to late spring, PC, and fall 2021, console. On January 13th Portkey Games announced it was delaying its open-world Harry Potter action RPG by a year. Creating the best possible experience for all of the wizarding world and gaming fans is paramount to us so we are giving the game the time it needs, read a statement from the developer. CD Projekt Red initially planned to begin releasing free Cyberpunk 2077 DLC in early 2021. However, the DLC may no longer hit its target window as the developer has prioritized working on the most important fixes and updates, specifically for the poorly optimized PS4 and Xbox One versions of Cyberpunk. On January 14, Ubisoft announced it was delaying Riders Republic from its former February release date to sometime later in 2021. Later said the company. Originally set to be released later this year, The Lord of the Rings, Gollum will now arrive at some point in 2022. Publisher Nacon announced the new date for the stealth-focused Middle-Earth adventure in late January, though it didn't provide a reason for the delay. The first game delay announced in February, and the ninth overall for the year, was Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time Remake. This is the remake's second delay, it was previously pushed from January to March. Platforms, PS4, Xbox One, PC, Developer, Ubisoft. In mid-February, Amazon announced it was delaying its upcoming MMO, New World, from spring to August 31st. This was New World's second delay, it was previously pushed from August 25, 2020, to spring 2021. A third delay was announced following its open beta, with the release date shifting from August 31st to September 28th. Platform, PC, Developer, Amazon Game Studios. Paradox Interactive delayed Vampire, The Masquerade. Bloodlines 2 out of its 2021 release window without announcing a new target date. Alongside the delay, the publisher announced Hardsuit Labs will no longer be leading development on the project. EA delayed the next, currently untitled Need for Speed from FY 2022 to FY 2023 as developer Criterion Games temporarily moves off the upcoming racer to assist DICE on the next battlefield, a decision made to combat the effects of pandemic-related working conditions and ensure EA's flagship shooter hits its target holiday 2021 release window. Guilty Gear Strive was delayed by two months after developer Arc System Works received valuable feedback from the recent open beta. The additional time will be used valuable feedback according to the developer. The fighting game was previously delayed out of 2020 due to COVID-19 related development challenges. The Borderlands 3 director's cut add-on was delayed by three weeks due to the severe weather that impacted Texas last month, according to developer Gearbox. Platforms, PS5, Xbox Series 10 Vertical Bar S, PS4, Xbox One, Stadia, PC, Developer, Gearbox Software. Sega and developer Amplitude have announced the delay of 4X strategy game Humankind to a little later in 2021 in order to give the developers time to fine-tune the pacing, balance, diplomacy, AI, and accessibility of the experience. Platforms, PC, Stadia, developer, Amplitude Studios delayed from spring 2021 to an unannounced later date. Resident Evil Reverse, the multiplayer game initially set to be released alongside Resident Evil Village on May 7, has been delayed to summer 2021, Capcom announced in late April. This is the second delay for Security Breach, it was previously pushed from late 2021 platforms, PS5, PS4, PC, Developers, Steel Wool Studios, Scott Games delayed from summer 2021 to an unannounced later date. In April developer Mediatonic delayed the Switch and Xbox versions of Fall Guys, Ultimate Knockout out of their original summer 2021 release window. The developer said the delay will allow for the implementation of additional features at launch, including crossplay. A new release window was not announced. Delayed from June 4th to an unannounced later date. 
The PS5 version of Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts 2 was delayed indefinitely after C Games discovered unforeseen technical issues while developing for the console. Alongside the delay announcement, C Games shared that it will now be releasing the first major DLC for free on all platforms. The sequel will come to all other platforms, Xbox Series 10 Vertical Bar S, Xbox One, PS4, and PC, as scheduled on June 4. Ubisoft's long-in-development pirate ship Sim Skull and Bones was delayed once again in May, with its release date being pushed back to 2022 to 2023. This is the latest in a series of delays for Skull and Bones, which was initially announced at E3 2017 with a 2018 release window. Axiom Verge 2 was recently delayed from its initial early 2021 release window to Q3. Sony's highly anticipated God of War sequel was delayed from its initial 2021 release window to 2022. The stylish Kung Fu game Sifu was delayed from 2021 to February 2022. The delay was announced during the July Sony State of Play, while the new date was announced during Gamescom opening night live. The Just Cause Mobile spin-off was delayed into 2022 due to the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic on development. We've had to adjust to new ways of working and that has resulted in delays to our development schedule," said Square Enix. The next game from the Evil Within developer Tango Gameworks was pushed from October to early next year, the studio announced in July. Amazon's upcoming MMO was delayed for a second time in early August. New World was originally slated for a spring 2021 launch, before being delayed to August. Life is Strange Remastered Collection has been pushed into early 2022 due to the ongoing challenges of the worldwide pandemic, according to the developer. The franchise's next game, Life is Strange, True Colors, will still be released on September 10. Sony's highly anticipated Horizon sequel was dated for 2022, after previously being given a holiday 2021 release window. The Horizon Forbidden West release date is now February 18, 2022. The free Top Gun expansion for Microsoft Flight Simulator has been delayed by six months, a shift that aligns with the recently announced delay of Top Gun, Maverick. Paramount Pictures recently shifted the release date of Top Gun, Maverick to Memorial Day weekend, May 27, 2022, developer Asobo said. Grand Theft Auto V's PS5 and Xbox Series 10 Vertical Bar S release has been delayed from this November to March 2022, Rockstar announced during the recent PlayStation Showcase. Alongside the new release window, Rockstar gave us our first look at the latest GTA V remaster in action, check out screenshots from the trailer below. In mid-September, Creative Assembly delayed Total War, Warhammer 3 into early 2022. Techland delayed Dying Like 2 to February 4, 2022, in order to bring the game to the level we envision, said Techland CEO Pavel Merchuka. This is Dying Like 2's second delay, it was initially scheduled to launch in spring 2020. Battlefield 2042 was delayed by a month, EA announced in mid-September, citing development complications due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Given the scale and scope of the game, we had hoped our teams would be back in our studios together as we move towards launch, said DICE GM Oscar Gabrielson. The stylish action-adventure Solar Ash was pushed from late October to early December, developer Heart Machine announced on October 13, just two weeks before the game's previously expected release date. The delay comes as the depth and strategic freedom of the game exceeded initial expectations, according to the developer. Alongside the delay, From Software announced a closed network test that will allow select PS5, PS4, Xbox Series 10 S, and Xbox One owners to get their hands on the game from November 12 to 14. Alongside the aforementioned delay of Cyberpunk 2077, CD Projekt Red announced it was pushing its next-gen version of The Witcher 3 to Q2 2022, April to June. As with Cyberpunk, The Witcher 3's next-gen upgrade was initially expected to be released in late 2021, and CD Projekt Red didn't provide a specific reason for the delay. Nintendo has delayed the updated re-release of Advance Wars 1 and 2 into next year. The return of Shadow Warrior has been delayed from 2021 to an unannounced date in 2022. Ubisoft quietly pushed the Division Heartland from its current fiscal year to fiscal year 2022 to 2023, which runs from April 2022 to March 2023. Platforms, PS5, Xbox Series 10 Vertical Bar S, PS4, Xbox One, 
PC, Developer, Red Storm Entertainment.